Hi lads and welcome back to another video and happy new year, happy 2021, we finally made it. I don't know if this year will be any better or maybe it will be worse, maybe it will be the exact same as 2020, but let's just all have hopes. That was just a little qu quick moment of silence. Anyway, today we are doing, uh, well I'm just showing you a week of me studying for the Leaving Cert slash the mocks. I just don't know what's happening with the Leaving Cert right now, don't ask me, I don't know anything, uh, I don't even know if I'm having mocks or not, but I'm still studying a little bit every now and then. So it's just me talking away throughout the whole week about what I do and just, you know, enjoying some study routines. And I'm gonna, at the end of the clips, I'm just gonna sit down with you and have a little chat about how I study, give you some tips and just talk about Irish education. Hopefully this video won't be too long, but anyway, let's get on with the video. Hi guys, and welcome to this lovely little one week studying. And today's Monday, the 4th of January, and we're starting off the week with some work. And today I'm only going to focus on some Irish. And what I have to do is, I'm going to do a bit of Duolingo, because I haven't done that in a while. Pick up some grammar and stuff like that. And then I need to rewrite all my oral notes in a better order, because I hate how my senior, and practice my oral. Because I'm coming back to school, Probably on the 11th of January and soon enough it's the mocks and the oral mocks So I need to practice my Irish oral because I'm completely terrible at the Irish oral and I'm gonna do a bit of Duolingo with it. So today is just Irish So we're gonna focus on that and then I am done for today I just wanted to focus on Irish today. So whatever we're gonna do, let's begin studying some Irish I'm gonna put on myself a timer for two hours. I'm gonna study for two hours yeah. such a basic level but 
I still need a lot of work to do with the oral. It's so much work with the oral, so that's why I have planned to, to do Irish twice this week. And yeah, that's it for Monday, and I will see you all tomorrow. Hello guys, and welcome to Wednesday, the 6th of January. And I missed a day of studying yesterday, because I came out with a massive headache last night. And I was just very tired last night, and I was just like, I'm not studying today. So today we're just going to make up for it. And right now, I took a shower, cleaned my room, do my face mask on me, if you can see. And I'm just going to get changed now, take off the face mask, and go do some studying today. I'm going to do some art notes and my maths exam papers. So, yeah, I have a lot to do, and we're just going to get on with it. <laughs> art books on my maths exam paper so first thing I want to do with people I should actually get rid of that the minute you start filming and studying room just once yeah um what I need to do is I need to do a whole year of exam papers I think since 2017 she gave us I can't remember exactly I need to look into Google Classroom and then I need to catch up on some art notes that I need to keep going with uh, while I'm doing that I'll study some Irish and pick up on some maths equations and before I start I need to check my planner um uh, see how I'm keeping up with the schedule probably awfully but I need to check that and reschedule a couple of things so without further ado let's start studying <laughs> Algebra was fine, everything else like complex numbers, some complex numbers, some number matching some questions, that was all fine. Once I got to paper 2, I forget geometry and coordinate geometry and just find functions and stuff like that. I'm like, I'm quit. I quit. But I got it some done. Now I'm gonna have a bit of lunch, which I've just had some spaghetti. And I'm gonna watch a bit of Netflix and then I'm gonna do 40 minutes of art notes. So right now let me just relax for a little bit after all that maths. Hello guys, and uh, welcome to the 7th of January, a Thursday. And you're probably like wondering what's going on because uh, last clip I was saying that I'm going to do art right now. But after I finished my lunch, I found out some lovely news for myself that leaving certs are going back to school for three days during mm, like the most biggest pandemic. Sorry, I phrased that wrong. During the biggest numbers of cases that we got in Ireland, um, we're going back to school for three days. And I was just raging, texting my friends, we were all giving out about it. And then I just went on a walk because I just couldn't handle it. But I'm here today on a Thursday. It's currently four o'clock and I'm gonna do some art right now, as I promised myself and G. <laughs> it's also I'm a planner. I'm gonna time myself for 40 minutes and gonna do a bit of art and then I'm gonna do a bit of home ec. Um For art, I just need to continue with my notes and for home ec, I'm gonna do my, some exam questions just to get my head around it. So without further ado, let's get into it. minutes I was finishing off Donatello if anybody understands what I'm talking about uh, I have only one more statue 
Sorry, not statues. One more sculpture to do in Donatello, and that's Mary Magdalene, and then I'm done with Donatello, and I am moving on to Masaccio. Probably a lot of you have no clue what I'm talking about, but if you do, great. Now, what I want to do is I want to do 30 minutes of home ec and just do a couple of exam questions and work on my workbook and just revise over my home ec chapters. <laughs> said bye on the day how embarrassing of me and yeah I did a bit of home ec. um hopefully I need to do more home ec because home ec is a big like I know home ec but it's always nice to revise things and there's some chapters like microbiology that I have not a finger of a clue what's going on not a clue but anyway yeah I will talk to you tomorrow when I'm what am I doing tomorrow next I have geography and Irish scheduled for tomorrow but anyway so yeah, see you all tomorrow. Right, so after watching all that, I, I'm sorry, also, I wanted to study on Friday, but I nearly did, and then I'm just like, I need a break. Uh, and plus of all, on Thursday, I just found out that I don't even know we'll be having a mock, so I'm like going back to school. So that's why I was like, I don't, I, that's where I lost my kind of my motivation about studying, so, because I'm like, oh sure, I'm just off for a month, and uh, I don't even know if I'll be sitting the mocks or not. But that's why I kind of lost my motivation on the study on Friday. But I got a bit of studying done. And let's just talk about mocks for a second here. So first of all, mocks is basically pre-exams. Uh, well, what am I doing this? They are pre-exams. Uh, they're basically just the actual real exams. But they're not real exams. So they look like the real exams. They're scheduled like the real exams. But they're just not the real exams yet. They're done from the school. They're not done from the Department of Education. And they are just there for us to have a bit of a practice before leaving start. Or what happened last year, they were basically like the real exams and that's where they were predicted grades mostly coming from, which is absolutely the scariest thing in the world. And this year I don't even know if I'll be in the mocks or not because there's so much things up in the air and nobody has a freaking clue what's going on because <laughs> freaking Norma Foley does not tell us what's going to happen. But anyway, so all that aside, all the COVID stuff aside, so me just studying for a week was basically just revising over stuff and catching up on some work. So art, no, like I was studying art. I wasn't studying, I was actually catching up on notes. But throughout that, I was picking up the notes because I'm still behind in art notes and I need to catch up on art notes as quick as possible. Oh Meg, I'm done the course. Sorry, that was wrong. I am done the course up to what have we done so far. I am caught up on my notes and I'm all ready to go. Uh, but obviously, if we came back to school, we would have continued on with the course because we still have a bit of left. But right now, we're probably just going to continue on with the course online. But, you know, I am studying home ec. I was looking at the exam questions, the workbooks, and just creep over back at the books and I write my own notes on the laptop. But that day was a Wednesday, I think so. I just did the workbook because we just looked at the exam questions. And that's how I basically do it. And to find the answer to this question is, again, I remember my friend asked me this other day as well. It's just like, how do you find the motivation? And to answer that question, uh, I look at other people starting to study. Like I watch a lot of people do study routines. Uh, TikTok is actually starting to get a little bit motivational right now. A lot of things are coming up on my For You page about uh, motivation and how to study. That helps me a lot. And I don't know, it's just me in general. And I feel like it's just me being a Sagittarius and I'm just very organized. I feel like also organizing your timing uh, just 
sit down in front of a notebook and tell yourself, right, tomorrow, not even, actually, don't even say tomorrow. Why not start today? Why not start right now? Start right now. Don't wait for tomorrow, because tomorrow will never come. B I Bitch, I said that to myself so many times. That tomorrow, we'll do it tomorrow, and then tomorrow comes, and I'm like, ah, no, I shall do it again tomorrow. Tomorrow never comes. Do it right now. Get your fucking ass and go sit down and do a bit of studying because tomorrow never comes. Tell, believe me, tomorrow never comes and it never will fucking come. Unless you have a due date that is due tomorrow. But if you don't have that due date, it's you just don't have the motivation because that's literally how I work. It's like, ah, sure, I don't have a due date. What's the point? But if I do have a due date, I'm like last minute, just like. But get the fuck up and just do it today, right now. Don't wait for tomorrow. That's why I just keep saying to myself all the time. And also, I like to organize myself. So I, every Sunday, I sit down in front of my planner and I organize my week. And I'm like, right, on Monday, I will do English at like 11 o'clock. And Tuesday, I will do maths at like 2 o'clock. Uh, it might really, probably won't work for everyone, but it kind of works for me. But that's just me personally. But it's just about getting up right now and not saying to yourself, ah, sure, I'll just get up tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow, yeah. Oh, I have plenty of time tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. Tomorrow never comes. Tomorrow never comes. It just doesn't come. And that's just how I get my motivation. But my main, biggest key factor about getting motivation is looking at other people studying. That could help. Also, another thing that I keep thinking, started to think of, because TikTok can even help me with that. Honestly, that's what you TikTok, that might help you. Uh, is just think about the outcomes. Just think about the outcome outcomes, because you're studying for a reason. I'm studying because I want to get into college, because I want to get my degree and I want to get a good job. Because that's what I'm thinking, Keith. That's, that's the mentality that you want to have, it's just, what are the outcomes? Why are you studying? You're studying for the leaving cert to get good grades, and those good grades will get you the points, and those points will get you into college, and, that, and then if you're working hard in college, you'll get a degree, and that degree will get you a good job, hopefully. You know, fingers crossed. <laughs> Uh, that's the outcomes I'm thinking. I'm like, I am just thinking, I want to get into college. I am doing all this for college because I want to get into college. I need those points. And then while I'm in college, then I'll be my, well, I'll be thinking, it's like, I need my degree. I need this degree because this degree will get me a job. Uh, so outcomes, watching people's videos and just get the fuck up. Just get the fuck up, William. Stop being a lazy ass. Just get the fuck up. Honestly to God. And uh, some study tips that I have to give you is my biggest thing is to, especially for learning essays is teaching it out loud like pretend you're teaching a class and this will especially benefit people that want to become teachers in the future like I have a friend she wants to be an Irish teacher and she's choosing between English, French and I think religion uh, for her second subject but I mean that's not the point here but I feel like it will help you people who wants to be a teacher in the future is just to start off already with just staring into a wall and pretend there's a class in front of me and just teach the subject. That helps me learn my geography essays. Uh, another thing is just rewriting the notes a lot and I know writing is annoying but I figured out I'll just type them up on the computer because I'm faster at typing than I am at writing but I do not recommend sticking to it because what uh, this happened to me in English is I did most of my English essays and short stories and all the questions on my laptop and I typed them up and when we get to do them in class I get a bit lost because I'm used to typing my English stuff and now I'm like writing and I'm not I'm behind in time because I'm a fast typer than I am a writer so don't stick to typing all the time do some writing do some typing you know have, find a balance uh, so typing out your notes again or writing out your notes again a huge benefit even if you have to rewrite them 20 times I honestly found I honestly understood now why in primary schools teachers told us to do write outs because it just sticks in your head just like I remember if you do something bad you write out the rules okay you don't need to know the rules but after that you just know the rules but I feel like I feel like it was spelling that yeah it was spelling in primary school that if you just didn't get the right spelling you have to write out the word like 20 or 50 times and then it just sticks in your head it just sticks in your head and I kind of find that now I find understood the mentality behind that in primary schools uh, but yeah writing out notes biggest tip teaching it as a class another biggest tip another thing that I do uh, I just read over just keep reading and over, over and over and over again. The book kind of sticks in my head. I don't do flashcards. I don't really do sticky notes. I don't. Uh, what else is there that people find beneficial that I don't use? Yeah, mostly flashcards. I don't use flashcards and I don't use sticky notes. I what I do is just what I just named out. I teach it as a class for my geography. For homework, I rewrite my notes and. Um, 
uh, yeah, reread my notes and just keep reading over the book. Like honestly, for before a te home ec test, I just read back over the book, reading and reading and reading and reading and reading, 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 and it just sticks, it just sticks. And you know, and for art, uh, see, I haven't really started studying art that much yet, which is honestly the biggest problem in my life, probably. Uh, but I just keep re I just keep up. I'm trying to catch up. Uh, I'm trying to catch up with the notes. That's what helps me. But I feel like it's just I have an advantage in art. It's just because I have an interest in art, and it's just easier for me than it would be for people that don't have an interest for art and are trying to learn art history. Uh, art history is hard enough to learn, and I do understand it's hard. It's just to me, I don't feel it as hard because most of it is your personal opinion, and you just have to talk about the painting that you're showing in art history, and you're just like, yeah, that's a lovely painting, but you do need to know the background information. You need to know why was this piece created, like the story behind it and then talk about some techniques and colors and person likes and dislikes and that's just the thing that came to me naturally and i just know it naturally the only thing that i need to do for art history is just learn off the stories behind the paintings if i don't see it in the painting itself because sometimes i just look at the painting i'm like oh yeah there's the story and uh learn about the, the background and the artists themselves that's the only thing i need to do person likes and dislikes colors and uh techniques that are used in the paintings or sculptures that were shown it's just a thing that came to me naturally it's just a natural thing that i have and i'm sure people have that uh, I just have a friend who's naturally good at science, like she's really good at biology and I know she wants to do radiography. She told me last time I was talking to her about it, she wants to do radiography in college. She's just naturally good at science. I'm naturally good at art. We all are naturally good at something. So I feel like you shouldn't be focusing on things that are just none of your, like you should focus on things that you should love and you have an interest in and that just comes easily to you. And obviously you do need to study that you're bad at, like I'm bad at Irish, I still try it. I'm bad at geography, I still do it and I just can't wait to give up on it in, in June and you still have to do it but I feel like you if you don't if you are if it's not clicking you, you should not force yourself to click in it you just need you just need to kind of have an understanding of it and at least to write something here you will be able to at least pass the subject and get at least a H4 on it or H5 if you're that low depends on your own personal skills and levels so like for me I'm bad at geography but I'm still aiming for H3 because I'm bad at it, I'm not going to tell myself that I'm good at it, I'm not going to force myself to learn it all off until I get a H1 because I know that one that's not going to happen because A, I don't have interest in geography, B, I don't understand it and C, I'm really bad at it because there's so much in it so I'm just not going to force myself or think in my head that like, oh I'm going to get a H1 in geography because that's not going to happen, that's not realistic and I'm not going to learn off the whole course because there's no way in hell I'll be able to learn off the whole freaking geography course in like, how much, five months until the leaving start or something like that? Uh, but at least I'm having a realistic goal of at least getting a history because I did at least know the basics of geography and might talk about some things about it. But other than that, I have no interest in geography and I should not be setting big goals for myself in subjects that I hate. So just don't set big goals for subjects that you hate because that's just unrealistic because there's no way in hell if you hate geography or Irish or maths or English or home ec, and you're telling yourself you're going to hate a H1 because that's not going to happen. Unless you're like super, super, super smart. But then why are you giving out about the subject if you're super smart and you're able to get a H1? It's just set realistic goals. Set realism. Be realistic with yourself. Are you really doing... Are you really going to get a H1 in maths? Really? A H1 in maths? So I feel like leaving search is going to be difficult for me. Very difficult. I still have a lot to catch up on. Uh, most subjects that I need to catch up on is Irish and geography and I always 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 have to keep up with maths because I know maths. I do know maths but it leaves my brain and then I don't know it. So that's why I need to keep looking back at maths because it just leaves my brain. But I know how to do it still. Like before, like algebra, I was looking at algebra the other day again and some of the stuff that we did in fifth year and I'm like I knew this. I was freaking brilliant at this. I did this in like five seconds and now I'm looking back and I'm like how do you do it? So I feel like maths is that subject that you just have to keep on. You just have to keep, like there's the math subject and you just have to keep revolving around and revolving around and never leave it. You just have to keep spinning around it. You just have to keep spinning around it and there's no other way around it. You just spin around it. There's no point of leaving maths because you'll just leave it in your brain. And if you're not good at maths, I'm not going to start that talk with you because there is people that are struggling with maths and I personally don't really struggle with maths. There is stuff like geometry or what else are we doing? Statistics and probability and coordinate geometry which I struggle with because I'm like, <laughs> no. But I'm really good at algebra. I'm really good at algebra. I'm good at trigonometry. I'm good at complex numbers. I'm good at calculus. Uh, basically, if you know the Irish Leaving Cert exam paper structure, basically I'm good at paper one, 
but I'm shit at Paper 2. I just hate Paper 2. Don't get me started. Paper 2 is geometry, trigonometry, coordinate geometry, statistics of probability, shapes, and then Paper 1 is financial maths, algebra, calculus, complex numbers, number patterns. So I'm just good at Paper 1, but I'm shit at Paper 2. And I'm not trying to be like, oh, I'm just going to be so good at Paper 2. I'm just like, I'm going to be good at Paper 1. I'm going to be like in the middle of paper two because at least I know trigonometry in it and I'm pretty, I can do statistics and probability but I'm really shit at them because it takes me forever to get statistics and probability. Well anyway, it's just about realism lads. It's all about realism for Leaving Cert and we're all going to cry, whoever's doing the Leaving Cert this year, we all are going to cry. There's no doubt in my mind we're all going to cry because we don't even know if we're sitting in the Leaving Cert right now and no matter what we're all going to cry and we're all going to struggle but let's just think about this way, we're all going to survive. Everybody prior, everyone from 2019 downwards survived. Yes, everyone cried. Yes, everyone had a mental breakdown. Yes, everyone struggled, but we all managed to survive. And we all sat it, we all wrote it, and we all came out with some kind of grade, and we all came out with some kind of points, and people got into college, and now they're doing absolutely fantastic. So let's not have doubts about ourselves in the evening search. Let's just do a bit of crying, and just get on with our studies, and just start, you know, just sit the leaving cert in June if we're gonna have a leaving cert and have a great old oh, good old time after the leaving cert is over and just have a good old party of ourself. Finger crossed if COVID is over. Anyway, thank you for coming for my rant, even though this wasn't even a rant video and yeah. Alrighty guys, we are done and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was somewhat beneficial and I hope you got some kind of motivation, maybe you didn't, which me personally, just watching other people do study routines is just kind of motivational. And yeah, and just this is me getting ready for the leaving search and I don't even know if I'll be sitting in the leaving search, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll be studying for nothing, but God only knows, God only knows what's going to happen in June. Uh, hopefully just 2021 will be better. But anyway, I will see you whenever I upload a video next and bye!